All right, so another day of us pushing through with this daily upload, really record at this point. Uh, like I've stated, I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up, but um, I can't complain in the meantime. So, so we continue on with that and we just do what we would do. As usual, I think you guys already know what what's planned. However, the good thing is I actually do have some good news. I was finally able to go out and take pictures. It's cra as crazy as that might sound, I was able to do that. So if we were to look here, although this may be questionable if it's interesting or not, we're going to dive into a little bit yet again into car photography as we attempted on what they, I can't even remember what day it was, but we, we've already kind of, I guess started car photography early in the in the journey but now this is I guess a part two because when I was driving by today I just so happened to see this car I it, to be honest I don't even know what model this is I'm sure for well, what does it say here oh it's a, it's a Chevy I don't even know well I don't even know what type of Chevy this is anyways as I was passing by, I saw this Chevy parked on the side of the road and I figured, you know what, that's actually, who knows, that, that's going to be the, the video for today. Another car photography attempt. So that's what we kind of got going on here. I got an interesting, may not be, but I guess I'm experimenting in a way, but I don't know, that just may be my personal opinion. So... As far as what we're, what's going to take place with this edit, I may have, I may choose to maybe mask it, but it may be dependent because I did try masking the, the car alone. And as if we were to go here, uh, yeah, portions of this other Tesla behind it kind of got in the way. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's a way to use a brush and kind of manually erase that but I haven't really I don't know I really don't know how to what that option is so I'm kind of debating whether or not if we're even gonna use the the masking for this video but I'll try my best I'll try my best as to do the best that I can for for this video now with overall you know I, I kind of I kind of done a little change. I don't know if you guys see it, especially right now, but there's more sunlight coming in. It's because normally, again, and I guess this is a, a good time to kind of walk through so you guys have an idea of of what goes on um, during a normal day for me. So I normally get up dependent between four or five and work up until three or four in the afternoon, right? And then roughly by the time I get here, what I used to do back then is either just chill out, relax a little bit, and then go out roughly between 5, 5.30, maybe even 6 o'clock, go out for my daily cardio. I go normally five, 5 miles running every day. And then that would be around 8 o'clock-ish. And then there, I would record my videos right now. But I've, I've done a little change with my attempt or with my schedule recently. So now before I I head off to, to do my cardio, I, I'm recording this video. Just, I guess, on the fact that beforehand, especially before I was daily uploading, I guess for me, the time that it took for me to record and then try to start editing was really kind of catching up to me and I would roughly give or take every every video takes roughly around maybe 40 minutes of raw of raw footage roughly 40 minutes to to record and then roughly as depending if I feel energetic or not, but most of the time I do it purely on the fact that I got to wake up the next morning 
relatively early. I go at it as far as with editing for maybe about an hour, maybe, maybe roughly an hour, an hour and 30. So that's, again, especially back then before I used to start with this daily uploading, it was kind of a, kind of a hassle in a way. Not really much of a hassle, but it was kind of inconvenient for me that I was recording late and then I was starting up with the editing for the video um, relatively late as well. So it's especially right now in this period that again, I'm recording and uploading every day. I kind of figured, you know, if, if I tend to record as soon as possible, then maybe here I it, it could give me a little bit of room um, in the in the evening to to record or not to record to edit. And so in these past couple of days, that's really what I've been doing. And so far, I really can't complain. It's it's so far it worked, so it's just been working as far as for right now. So I can't really complain with that. But it's just it's just something that I took note of, um, especially with. Again, how my, how work has been coming out and that's not, I'm not even expecting this to be the worst, to be honest. I'm expecting this to be you know, relatively light in a way. But anyways, that's kind of, uh, I wouldn't say a day in life, but a step-by-step -step process as far as what goes on in, in my days. Uh, obviously on the weekend, right? Oh, I'm sorry, on the weekdays. Now with weekends, it's it's obviously different, depending on what I have to do as far as with any tasks that I have with with my family or any errands I have to run. Give or take, maybe I might record in the morning. Although that may be something that I might I might start um, thinking about recording in the morning because again, like I've stated, I used to just record always all my videos late in the afternoon which is why probably in the beginning videos you would see like kind of the light coming from here because this is just where my normal lamp is it's not even a it's not even a studio light as i guess you would call it it's just a normal light that i have but now i see like right now since it's kind of sunlight i guess you're seeing i don't know i guess a difference as far as with the the room slash atmosphere, maybe? I don't know. I may just be talking out of my ass, but that's. I just wanted to kind of get that point across so that way here you guys can have an idea as far as, you know, what goes on in in a day of, in a, in a day of mine and what's the kind of thought process I have as far as with work, recording, editing, and uploading as far as with uploading i just hate that time to kind of really relax in a way but again i try to do the best that i can maybe there's ha there i have been thinking believe it or not i have been thinking that maybe sometime i don't know but i'm leaning more towards the the weekend i may even record two videos at once well one to upload and then one just in case if I slack off one day, that can be as my backup in a way. I'm not, I'm, again, I still need to think about it because, um, again, I can't do much with this, kind of like what I've said, I can't do much with this because I also at the same time need to prioritize work. So until, maybe until this starts making me some sort of income is when maybe I can start you know, really de deciding. Okay, well, do I want to do this for a living, or do I, or do I want to continue doing with what I'm doing right now with work? Right, I, I don't even want to get into work right now. But yeah, that's that's kind of really the. I guess on a day, a day in the life, I don't know. Would you guys be interested in a day in the life? I'm I'm not sure. Maybe that would not be good because as far as vlogging. Personally, for me, that's something I I personally don't like. Anyways, now that I've kind of went way, way off topic as far as what I'm doing here, I've already kind of done Tone Curve 
um, and then as with some basic adjustments. I've been, I, I don't know if I've been stalling, but I've been also, and at the time that I'm talking to you guys of what I do in, in my, in, you know, in my everyday, right? I'm also trying to think because I do want to use masking, but I don't, I don't know how this is going to come out. So maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe it's going to be something I'm going to have to really think about because I, I don't want to attempt to do a masking with all this. So again, I'm going to have to really think about it, but that's going to be probably, hopefully in the future. But right now I'm just going to worry about what I have right now, which is just color mixer and possibly color grader. Maybe I might add in a vignette in effect, but I'm not entirely sure. But as far as with color mixer, as far as right now, I've done a little bit changes with the red just to make it more red. And then with the green, not really, if I just order. So mostly with the red, because if we look before, yeah, it was a little, it was a little bit red, but now it's like blood red, I guess, if that makes sense. So maybe as far as with color mixer, maybe that might be all that we might have in the meantime. I really, there's not much color here, except if you don't take in green, brown, and then the the blue here, but that's not really the, the main priority. The prior or the subject would be the, the Chevy here. So again, we're probably just gonna leave that be. And we're just gonna dive right into color grading. So since I've, since I'm leaning more towards the warmer side, as we already know, I tend to, like to also lean towards the, the warmer side as far as with color in, uh, as far as with color grading. But who knows, maybe maybe the cooler side may be an option, but as I'm looking at it right now, that probably would not be a good idea. So just for right now, I'm just gonna try to find a, a nice color here with color grading, just to see, you know, which one would, would fit the would fit the photo nicely in a way because I also don't want to overdo it a lot. I really don't want to overdo it. So that's just something that I, I really got to look into. But maybe as far as with right now, maybe that's that's actually a good. Maybe that's actually a good. Uh, a good color for the whole photo, because if we were to undo. Okay, maybe for right now that, that may be good. Again, if I need to come back, I'll come back and adjust it. But maybe for right now, we should be good. Now, as far as with shadows, again, we're probably gonna be affecting the whole photo. So we, again, we gotta be, I gotta be a little bit careful as far as what I'm gonna do here. Okay, uh, I think that should be good. Again, it's, just barely, I don't even think you guys can even see it. It's like no difference really, but it's just something very, very light, very, very minor. I'm trying to see what's a nice balance here or a nice color for midtones. Maybe to be honest, maybe not much should be done here, but in all fairness, maybe a nice hint of cool. No, that's like really nothing. Okay, with midtones, I think I found a nice, a nice color. Even though that's kind of already going against what I just put here with shadows, I'm trying to find a nice balance as far as making it warm, but at the same time not overdoing it. Yeah, I mean, but then again, you can't really even see the difference with shadows. Again, it's it's as far as with the difference between midtones and shadows, I guess midtones would have a much more greater effect with it, but. You know, we'll, we'll, again, any changes, if I see down the road that I got to make, then I'll just make them. As far as with highlights, would I want to change anything? You know what, for right now, with highlights, I don't think nothing needs to be done. Just a nice, I think that should be good for right now. Now, I don't want to say that's it, because this would be a very, very short video. But let's, before we get into masking. Let's just do a quick before and after. Okay. All right, yeah. All right, not bad. 
Um, but definitely we can do more, more, especially with this color mixer now, or I'm sorry, mask it now. In the meantime, I'm going to try to find a way on how to, how to not select the, the portions of the, of, of the Tesla. So in the meantime, I'm going to try to figure that out and hopefully, hopefully we should have, uh, the, the car all by itself. Okay, I just don't even want to fucking get into how, what lengths I had to go through just to get this fucking mask under control, but I think we did a good job. Um, again, I don't even want to get into it, thank God. You guys didn't even fucking see that, but anyways. What's, uh, what's gonna be my goal here? Let's see here. Well, where the fuck am I? Alright, there we go. Let's see here, with the, with the car... I think actually exposing it uh, shouldn't already be the case since it's already relatively good. Um, maybe just a slight decrease on contrast as well. With highlights, I don't want to also go overboard. You also a slight decrease. With highlights, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. With shadows, yeah. Maybe a small or a still decrease with whites uh, I don't want it to pop out as much so also a decrease I guess that's the, just the theme now with blacks a very minor decrease but I think that should be good and let's see all right I made it relatively better with temperature we're just gonna leave that here and we're probably gonna move forward to or actually no, never mind. We would wanna. We're actually gonna go here because I remember because I thought that there was gonna be a, a color wheel here, but I forgot that in this case there isn't. So I guess my goal with this one would be to maybe just slightly uh, with Q. No, we're just gonna leave it that. What do we mean use fine adjustment? Oh, just slightly. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Well. Yeah, like I said, we let's just leave that be. Saturation. What change did that make? Maybe just a slight increase. Maybe, there you go. Maybe. Does that make it better? I'm not sure, but we'll just leave that as it is. As far as with our tone curve, we're probably going to do the same thing what we did. Although I'm looking at it, maybe... It wasn't a good idea to, hey, we'll just leave that. Cause obviously just to get this fucking mask to work, I had to look at, I had to look at a video. But yeah, and from that video, I think it was better off to use the mask and before making any color adjustments. But I think at that point it's a little bit too late. So yeah, it is what it is. That's already one thing that I can take for, away from this video. With the blacks, we're going to leave that as it is. Probably just a slight increase onto shadows. If anything, that's just a very slight decrease. Yeah, I, I like that. With midtones, maybe a very minor, very minor and very subtle increase with highlights okay just making sure with highlights just also a very minor increase and then with the whites um, it really doesn't affect other than just this portion right here so we'll leave that to it yeah okay looks to be rather better maybe who knows maybe we even mess around here with the with the red, considering the fact that we don't have the color wheel option, so we'll just leave that. Maybe just a very minor, very subtle increase with shadows. So here changes. Yeah, okay. All right, uh, I like that. As far as with these other options we have here, texture, we just a very subtle 
increase in texture because remember we already worked with texture here for the whole, for the whole photo so we would need to be a little bit careful with that scroll all the way down here okay clarity although that would look kind of nice I'm just gonna it's very subtle increase very subtle now I've I think that should be relatively all that we just did with the first mask. So if we were to as before, okay, all right. I think yeah, we made it a little bit better. I actually kind of like that. Now I'm in the balance between either adding another mask or not. Although I really need to. Let's see what other options we have here. We have sky, background, and people. What else could we add? Could we maybe add a... What else would be good? Background? Let's see what background we'll get. Okay, so we get everything but the, the, the car, which is what we would want. You know what, for really, in the meantime, I'll decide. Uh, I'm going to decide if I have a background. I'm just going to be really going through these sliders and seeing what clicks or what changes I like. So in the meantime, I'll be doing that and I'll see which which ones do I end up choosing. Okay, so it took some time and I was kind of surprised I did go ahead and make some minor adjustments uh, as far as with the basic maybe a little bit with the color i think the major ch i'm sorry the major change was with the with the curve because if we were to look here kind of made it everything a little bit more black or a little bit more balanced in a way so maybe that should be good and to be honest i really think that would conclude all of it now if we were to go here close this off do before and after it's before okay uh yeah i actually i have to say um i like that although i know for a fact um as far as with just masking since i think this is the first time we have two or multiple masks i know for a fact you can do some really awesome shit with with linear radial brushing or gradient, but maybe as far as with this video, maybe I'll just leave that for another video. However, uh, I mean, I already, I already know what I needed to work on this. So, but before I get into that, any last thoughts? Cropping? No, I wouldn't need any cropping. Lens blur effects. How much? How would a vignette in effect? Okay, you know what? Let's add a small vignette in effect. And believe it or not, let's it's just gonna be a very quick vignette in effect, just barely something. Believe it or not, I think that is all what we're gonna add. Just yeah, there you go. Just something very minor, but it's very subtle. But I, I like it. So final four yeah yeah i actually really like how as for again in in a way and i'm sure it was very noticeable in this video as a way of and still leading into car photography i think it was a pretty good photo so believe it or not i think that's it's really all for for as far as for this photo now i know for a fact i just i, I, I know for a fact i could have done a lot more and believe it or not i'm gonna write it down right here because I kid you not, you guys haven't, you guys didn't see it, but the struggles I went just to get this fucking car properly masked, it's just, it was a hassle. So what, what I'm going to write is the following. Have a general idea slash knowledge of 
of the Lightroom tools have a general idea slash knowledge of the Lightroom tools. Before editing, even though that, that last portion is kind of forced in, but and what do I mean by that? Although you could make the argument, although you could make the argument, it's the same thing as to learn, understand, and practice some, if not all, Lightroom tools. What I mean by have a general idea and slash knowledge of the Lightroom tools before editing is normally with this I should have an idea as to what's my plan with this photo so I shouldn't especially right now I shouldn't have all what just occurred really in this photo as far as especially with the masking that should have not happened if I had if I had thought about it and I knew that I was going to be using masking and I knew that there was going to be an issue with the mask and I should have prepared myself beforehand with what different options there are with with masking again I'm glad you guys didn't see that but but man it was it was roughly 10 to 15 minutes of me struggling tr just trying to find a simple fucking option that it was quite literally right there but my dumbass, obviously, not preparing myself, right? What I just written right here, that caused it. So, again, unfortunate that it happened. But, again, it's some way, shape, or form a, a, a learning curve for this. And I know now for next time, if I have any, any plans, and not really just with mask, just with anything, maybe either a refresher or maybe a quick, tutorial guide as to how to use them and what are the other options maybe that will save me from a shit show that occurred in this photo um, in this video obviously again you guys didn't see it but I, I'm, I'm i'm happy you guys didn't see it because i tell you man, i again i don't even want to get into it because i've already said too much but as far as with this photo as far as with uh i guess a part two in a way as to with learning car photography and editing cars i don't think i did too bad but this definitely opened up my eyes as to especially just with car photography or really just with any photography that i know i'm going to be using masks or the masking option i should definitely prepare myself because in this case right here i was not expect well i, I did expect it then but I didn't do nothing about it, and that's where I fucked up. But definitely for the next time, I'm, I'm going to make sure for that to not happen. So then shit like this don't happen again. But as far as today, I mean, it was basically overall pretty good. I shot this photo, and I also took several photos in DC, although I'm kind of debating on whether or not how to edit them. I don't know. I would need to decide. But again, my goal for tomorrow try to take a photo that same day and then edit that same photo that I took obviously that's the goal but I think you guys already know what the plan b would be if that were to fail but other than that I really have nothing else here for this video it was I don't know how long it's gonna be but I, I think it's gonna be relatively short but I may be wrong but I hope you guys are enjoying this this style of videos trying to keep it under 30 minutes to the best of my ability I know I'm kind of creeping there, but I'm trying my best to to stay under 30 minutes, which I think by far, I think I've been doing a an okay job. But there's always room for improvement. That's, that's for a lot of things. But yeah, that concludes day 18. Oh my gosh, day 18. I think so. Day 18. That concludes the, the video, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.